Good morning to those of you who are new. My name is Agent Urquhart. I am once again stepping in for Dr. Sherman today to give you your briefing of SCP-7615. A fair warning for those of you who are disturbed by, well, disturbing content, there are some homophobic insinuations within this document. Now that that's out of the way, let us begin. Item number, SCP-7615. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The alleyway containing SCP-7615 has been sealed off from public access. Description. SCP-7615 is an interdimensional location accessible via a steel hatchway, located in an alleyway within the city of Wisconsin, United States. On the hatch is fixed a placard that formerly read, Department of Abnormalities. All attempts to access SCP-7615 or penetrate the hatch were unsuccessful until the 26th of June 2015, after surveillance camera feeds ceased for several seconds. Upon restoring, the feed revealed the placard to now be blank. Personnel sent to examine SCP-7615 found that they could now freely open the hatch without difficulty. The entrance to SCP-7615 initially begins with metal ladders leading down a circular shaft, measuring 20 meters in length. The walls consist of bricks identical to those in the initial alleyway, dull gray in color, covered in graffiti, and severely cracked and dirty before gradually becoming less damaged as the descent continues, eventually being replaced entirely with smooth red brickwork. At the bottom is a tunnel lit by ceiling lights of varying color. The roof of the tunnel is curved with a single downward spike protruding down the center, forming a long chordate archway measuring a further 10 meters in length. At the end is a single steel door, which appears to have been unlocked from the other side. The door leads out through a wooden outhouse, located in an open field containing a variety of flora, notably common homegrown vegetation and fruit-bearing plants. Notable examples include pomegranates, apples, and cherries. In the distance can be seen a perpetually setting sun. Located at the central point of the field is an elevated grassy hill, on which a small cottage stands. The cottage is fully furnished for two people. Numerous personal items of the house's former occupants are located throughout, including framed photos, books, clothing, and other forms of personal entertainment dating back to the early 1970s. Upon initial investigation, the bodies of two elderly women were found together, sitting in a large wicker chair on the porch of the cottage. Both were positioned as to imply that they had been watching the sunset. Autopsy reports estimated the two to have been deceased for around the same amount of time. Discovery Log the Foundation was alerted to SCP-7615 in 1972, following the mention of the phrase Department of Abnormalities in a newspaper article published in <laughs> Wisconsin. SCP-7615 was found shortly following the sudden disappearance of two women, Angela Murray and Riley Watkins, in the city itself. Reports indicate that the two had entered the alleyway together before witnesses following the duo reached the location themselves, only to find it empty. SCP-7615 was eventually found by one of the several witnesses that had followed the two women. However, they were unable to open it. Witnesses refused to explain their reasons for chasing the couple. And that's all I've got here, so I think that's all for today. If you have any questions, once again, please forward them to Dr. Sherman. I've received numerous questions regarding these files. I am merely here to give you what is written on the paper. I know nothing more. Thank you. You are excused. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.